Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snokus, and this is another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich. As you can see, our plans are going um, decently. We just won against Italy, fa a lot faster than I, I thought it was going to take. Um, mainly because of Austria though, so we shouldn't get the, too big for our bridges here. Um, Belgium is holding out pretty well actually, more robustly than I had imagine at first, but uh, we will take them down, as the stupid Bel Belgians they are. Uh, Brussels is gonna be ours, so I, maybe Brussels already is ours. Um, ah, whatever. Um, Germany, the German Empire. Well, they are, um, you know what, let's just start here. Uh, they, they are putting up quite a fight, but we should eventually be winning here. We we are still marching up to this line here to um, put a up a defensive, a counter-defensive um, front in case they decide to advance against us. How is our um, naval vanguard doing? About a month more, and then they're they're gonna be ready. Britain, if anything happens, just give us a shout, and we'll uh, be on over and help you out. You know what? Saying that, we really sh oh, fuck, we really need to up our um, infantry equipment. Soon our civilian factory is going to be done and then we can start getting these guys, uh, these civilian factories done, uh, these military factories done. Okay, I get it. Essentially everyone is against us. Thanks, okay. Um, but we're also just 38 still, but we're also going to get the, this done uh, eventually. Increasing our out output. I wouldn't have anything against the um, Netherlands taking a big chunk of Germany here. Less for us to um, suppress, um, you know, suppress uh, clans, the reactionaries. It's not really a good uh, way to say it, however you um, present it. Um, but right now we're just waiting for our Blitz commands to... Uh, prepare for a bit here. We wanna... I imagine we want to max them out so that we get maximum efficiency and then we're just gonna charge in and um, try to break them apart. Hopefully that's gonna work out. Okay, so Oman has uh, capitulated to... Hashemit Arabia maybe? This is usually Oman, yep. Okay. The German empires, empires seem to have dependencies uh, little, a bit uh, everywhere. Uh, they have um, the canal here in Egypt, they've got some over here in Arabia. Uh, they've even got um, Ceylon and um, some China and this is Vietnam, right? Yeah, it's Vietnam. Um, let's get some other tech going here. Still 38. And the tank we can get? No, not really. Um, anything here? Could get this. Not gonna use it probably. You know what? What you know what we should do? Well, first of all, we should get better fighters. Um, yeah. You know what we should do? We should. Um, We've got a lot of support equipment, good. Uh, we should... Fire support should get some um, logistics companies and some recon companies and that should be good. And for these guys we should get some engineer companies as well. Uh, support drill, well let's skip that since that's the thing that differenti differentiates these uh, armies with uh, the other army. Uh, and the recon company sounds good. Now we are already in a deficit here, so let's um, consider that in our expansion of uh, military factories. Integration of so this is a mod thing. Uh, when we firmly integrate something, we get um, a core on it and all that jazz. Um, So we could go down this line, which would be nice. Um, oh, 
fuck's sake. Um, so to do this, we need to um, have sensor dedication. Which is this. Now we need one of the following. Okay, so we only need this one. Which gives us a calibrated economy. Which is good, I believe. Um, and then we can do this one, which gives us a lot of factories. And then... Well, that's pretty much what we're going to do now. And we can also get this one. Uh, which gives us a reinforcement rate, which is really good. Which is really freaking good. Uh, we can also go down this path and stuff. Uh, oh, and we should do this one, shouldn't we? Try to bait out some um, socialist uh, insurrections. Surely that can't be bad. Um, let's go with some anti-tanks and some anti-air then. We don't really need it right now, but eventually we are going to need it, I imagine. Right, and since... Um, this war is over, let's uh, not waste any planes here. So we have some resistance occupation here. Attention! Attention. Uh, can you go yet? Okay. You are... Repairing for now, so as soon as you're done repairing... Yep. So as soon as you're done repairing, you're gonna allow um, our marines to invade. That's fine. Um, okay, I imagine uh, our planning is done. Attention. Then let's go. Gardez vos rangs. Okay, so we don't need you to... But otherwise, good. Okay, here they are. Um, well, let's um, utilize Hello. these... Um, you know what? Attention. What Hello. am I doing wrong? There we go. Let's utilize um, front. Uh, Attention. Front the total. Ah, come on. Front the Italia. Front of the Italy, I don't, know, I don't know, something like that, um, to uh, Écoutez. prevent the French uh, monarchists to um, the French bourgeois to try and retake uh, France. So we should try to we should create some kind of uh, defense force and make sure that they um, garrison all of the ports, which yeah, ports are mainly the issue. Um, England seem to be able to defend themselves, so that's fine. If we were to take this guy, uh, Militia, create a, a new commander, and promote him so we get a field marshal. That music always cuts out, that's kind of weird. And then we were to garrison uh, pretty much everything. And then put it on um, just port. We would need 17 divisions. That's fine then. Uh, we should be able to shore up 17 divisions. Was We're already up to three here. Um, The National Guard. That's fine. I chose uh, National Guard um, as a bit of a reference to um, well, all of the French revolutions. Because we've done uh, one cut here. Hopefully we can succeed with um, this one as well. Otherwise we're slowly advancing here. And we aren't advancing here as well. Uh, yeah, we are advancing a bit, but... Ah, look at that. We are seeing some uh, Ukrainian troops. Let's try to rush in with all our units here. And just 
use maximum amount of force to um, Lauri uh, force them out. Do we have any? We do have two here. Let's use them in our um, National Guard. Um, here we go. We lost. Right, we are gonna need... You know what, let's uh, expand the duties of the National Guard to um, include lower resistance and then also um, well all of these areas are um, cored anyway so we don't need to do with that there okay so we can so gain some core and then send us that's great now we need 19 units that shouldn't be a worry at all honestly as soon as we've gotten these out we are going to um, transfer from you some units from the fronte italia to um... no you know what Let's uh, remove all of the Italian provinces and then just garrison the front Italia in those areas. And then we shouldn't I need more than 11 units. We're almost there. Okay, okay. come on. You're almost done. Écoutez. Can you go? Allez. We don't. Tyrannian Sea, which is this one, I believe. Where is our fleet? Come on. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't care right now. Let's get out there. And now the... Yep, the Marines are going. Right, uh, now Front Aye. Italia, La Italia, um, I'm setting you up to defend I'm setting you up to defend Italia, Italy and um, prevent some kind of outbreak there and sabotage against our factories and also, I guess you would be the first defense against Austria if they de decide to attack. I doubt it, but um, since we do have a national, what's it called, a non-aggression pact. Um, but you never know. It seems like our um, uh, push into here to Germany was uh, quite successful. I, I wish I could have watched it, and we even pocketed quite a lot of, quite a lot of units. Okay, let's read this. Um, Mistra Sultan Gal Galiev and the International Muslim Committee. We are in a state of war with several countries with a significant Muslim population. Our dream is to spread syndicalism to the Middle East. The local syndicalist and socialist parties don't have a sufficient strength to achieve this goal. One of the most famous Muslim socialists and author of, author of Islamic communism, communism uh, Misra Sultan Galib, has declared his full willingness to help our cause. He has just suggested in private conversations with several, several important officials that the near lead defunct Muslim committee of the international could be turned into a powerful propaganda tool aimed at Muslims in the whole world. While some politicians and Marxist theoreticians, theoreticians uh, despite his, his despise his Islamic communism, it could help us fight in the fight against the many re reactionary powers in the Middle East. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, sounds really good. Hopefully uh, that works out. Seeing how uh, we're soon gonna control all of uh, Western Germany. When did this finish? Um, well, that's my bad again. Oh, I didn't choose one, maybe. That's really my bad. Holy shit. We've been missing out on some um, power there. Well, it's not like we're lagging behind in, um, in any regard, really. England is keeping it real. Um, Keeping it uh, defended. Okay. 
come on. Aren't you supposed to, you know, help out? I don't know what's going on. Uh, doesn't really matter. We're winning anyway. It's gonna be hard to uh, invade um, Canada. We might not even do it, but that's some years ahead. So no need to worry about that, that yet. Okay, so they managed to breach, but not on a port, so they're gonna lose soon. There are oh, no Canadians. Uh, we do have some units ready to deploy, but not enough to. Um, we don't really have enough equipment to um, justify it, in my opinion. Okay, so the Batavian community are making gains. Let's try to uh, make a final push here. In... I'm saying this war. In this war. Who have made the greatest contribution we have and then Britain. Okay, uh, to... I mean, I agree, Batavian Commune hasn't done that much, but they could get more than 2% rec recognition. I mean, they, they are controlling most of the German Empire now. I mean, come on. Could we maybe ask for control of a couple of states here? Württemberg, yep. Over by an... Something like that. Cool, thank you. Now we should have some more uh, factories working to our favor. Yeah, we do. Nice. We might even be able to ask for even more. Still 38. Um, we could do this. Not really necessary. Let's... Nah, you know what? Let's get uh, anti-air just preemptively. I, I guess we lost. Um, we lost all of this um, invasion army, I guess, because we didn't defend them enough. Um. This isn't going great. It is. Why? What happened here? Okay, I don't know what, what happened to our invasion army, but I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Right, we are gonna need to um, push down the resistance here, I guess. Let's get some... Um, got a lot of division now. Um, Sure, let's get some militias. Like... 10 maybe? See how fast they... Um, deploy. They, you know what, let's... Um, move them to the top so they get all of the... infant equipment. And then let's wait a day to see how... Um, let's speed up a bit as well. Uh, see how fast they get infant equipment. They don't need a lot, so... Um, Okay, since we are reinforcing, it's all going there. Let's lower that. Um, I just lower that um, the priority for the reinforcements simply to uh, try to get new militias as quickly as possible. Okay, so Germany should. What just happened? Oh, a syndicalist uprising in Brazil. I'm not saying no to that. Um, German Empire are soon gonna capitulate. And that's gonna be the last great power, I believe, for them. Dutch Middle Africa might put up some, uh, some issues, but um, mainly it's gonna be done when Germany capitulates. So, what happened? Um, okay, so the United Communes of um, 
Brazil. Can't invite them due to uh, being not being a radical socialist. Doesn't really matter, but hopefully they can win this. Caribbean Federation, what are you? You are totalist. So you are one of the few Stalinist um, powers in the in the world, and you're not that great of a power even. So um, and the, why is the Caribbean Federation? Okay, so the Caribbean Federation is totalist, and they are in the. What? No. Right. Uh, they are in the Entente, so they are fighting. Ah, so what the hell was I looking at? Ah, what? It says the Batavian Commune is the controller of this, but are they? No, they aren't. What the? Well, that's a bug or something. Um, okay. Well, England should be able to... Britain. Britain should be able to defend. Anyway. Uh, seems like we're pushing on here. Um, I'm not even sure our units are doing the pushing. Let's... Uh, cancel all the movements in case we are on some kind of um, uh, archaic battle plan here. You know what? I just noticed. Um, let's just choose one of these first. Sorry. Uh, it's end. It's time to end this episode and uh, make a cut here and create a new episode after that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're having such uh, as a good time as I am with this uh, mod. I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Um, if you want to see more, please leave a like. It helps me a lot with um, with YouTube and gaining some traction there and um, and all that that stuff. And uh, consider subscribing as well. Uh, I really appreciate some uh, some um, following this. Anyway, uh, have a nice day. Be a nice person, and see you next time.